Hey, what's up everybody? I want, today I want to try uh, to oversaturate this uh, big toroidal transformer and see how it behaves. It's pretty interesting how uh, these core ter characteristics from transformers actually behave. We got a voltmeter on the output. That's a voltmeter for input. And that's a current meter for the input. But they connected up to the variac. The transformer is connected in uh, to get the high leg delta voltage or 208 volts. So we can have a bit of bigger range on the variac. Or otherwise just a normal uh, isolation transformer, but we got some uh, taps. So we can use uh, 230 volts, 208 volts, or 115 volts. So I'm going to crank up the voltage till we get uh, 208 volts. So this is about nominal. We got this high leg delta voltage, 208.9 volts, 7700 milliamps, and goes 240 volts out. And here on the power meters, we can see that we almost got nothing, no uh, reactive power. We got some active power here, it's for my lights and my computer and uh, so on. So it's a pretty good uh, transformer. It's from a uh, X-ray machine for the computers and sensoring unit. So let's crank up the voltage a bit till we hear the hum from the transformer. Like that. So as you can see, that's not so many volts that I raised it up. But we can see here, we got 2.2 amps going into that now. And, and, and let us ro ro <laughs> rise the voltage up by like uh, 40 volts or 32 volts. So that wasn't so many volts I raised up. But the current rises up pretty dramatically. Output voltage is 278 volts. So now we can see we got a little bit more of uh, active power and the reactive power just raised up to around 500 uh, volt amp reactives. Now I turned down the voltage so we get around the 2 amps. It's 243 volts. So when I crank up the voltage, you can see I just raised it by 2 volts. And we got 3.3 3, uh, 3 .3 amps now. So yes, it's not a good idea to oversaturate the transformer. It pulls a lot of current. But when everything is right, the transformer just pulls a little bit of active uh, power to... It's because of the resistance in the coil. And the rest is the reactive power to keep the magnetization up in the core. It's a pretty interesting test with uh, to try uh, transformer core oversaturation. But don't burn up your transformers. Yes, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.